this project should be undertaken with parental or adult supervision to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. Who forbade me to take sweets from this plate? Oh, what if one of them accidentally falls on the table? <laughs> what? What's going on here? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, shiver me shudders! What's so funny, Sue? <laughs> well, you reminded me of a game, Sammy. I'm gonna make it for you to distract you from all these sweets. You're a true friend, but I wouldn't mind having some sweets. Sue, I have a slingshot. You don't have to make another one. Hi, guys. Sue says she'll make a real-life Angry Birds for me. Bye, everyone. Yes, we're going to create all the game details, including a slingshot. It ain't you here. I have a slingshot. I know, Sammy. We'll make a new one. A huge one. Huh? Why? Do you want to launch me, Sue? Only if you asked me to. <laughs> I need to saw this out of the wooden board. I'll ask Roger to help. It's so cool. Guys, be very careful with the saw. You'd better ask an adult to help you at this stage. So great job. Don't forget to sand that. Oh, but Sam, it's already smooth. Don't worry. I don't want to get a splinter. Fine. So, did you decide to participate in the launch? Yes, I'd like to fly a little. All right, then we need a thick, sturdy rubber band. See if you can find one. Huh, I got some ideas on where to find it. Oh, just don't touch my hair bands. They won't do. Perfect, the base is ready. Let's continue. <gasps> wow, I was afraid you were going to use my clothes. Yes, I was looking at one of your dresses last year. Its belt could be perfect. Sammy, I'm gonna wear that dress this year too. But I'm glad you found this. We need one more piece. I prepared it beforehand. Do we need to connect everything now? Exactly. We take the rubber band and carefully tie it to this piece. All right. Make sure that everything is fixed tightly. Otherwise, the band will fly away, not the missile. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it came out cool. We need to test it. Stretch it. A perfect tool for rocket launching. Maybe I should launch you now because you're getting in the way of my craft making, huh? Oops, I got it. I'm gonna fetch the material for the pig towers. <laughs> it's high time. In the meantime, I'll finish the slingshot. We need to glue the rubber band to the wood. Then we can launch all kinds of slimes. <laughs> now, carefully. What do you mean all kinds? Only me! Wow, what a costume. Are you gonna fly to space? Well, not to space, but as high as possible. I could use some protection too. Oh yes, safety is very important in rubber band flights. Guys, give a thumbs up if you care for your health too. The slingshot is ready. Let's try it. Woo, perfect. Sammy, I brought cement. What else do we need for the towers? I thought we could use some wood. Can you saw little cubes out of this? Sure, but a bit later. First, I'll make several cement cubes. By the way, did you know that cement was used in ancient Egypt? Let's mix it really well. So the Egyptian pyramids were made of concrete, which contained cement. They proved that by finding a lock of hair in one of the builders in a block. Oh, I see you want to leave a mark in history too, Susie. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I saw your hair in the cement. Oh, yeah, our descendants can find out something about the creators of this craft. <laughs> now let's leave the cement piece to set and make several more cubes. Wooden cubes, to be more precise. I guess I need Roger's help again. Sawing is quite a dangerous process. Phew! It got hot in here because of our crafting speed. Uh, do you need this fan? Hmm, you're right. But soon we'll have to slow down for a meditative activity. Oh, no! Holy cannoli, you call all the boring things meditative. <gasps> no, this one won't be boring. It will be exactly meditative. Fine. What are you gonna do? Well, we need to make the characters for our game. Pigs and Angry Birds. 
All right, not boring so far. How do we make them? Well, we're going to sew them with our own hands. Ugh, this feels kind of boring. <sighs> You're wrong. This will be the most entertaining decorative work. <sighs> You'll see. Fine, I believe you. I need to brush up on my knowledge about pigs and birds. I'm gonna go play Angry Birds a little. <laughs> the wooden and plastic pieces are ready. What about our cement? It's set. Perfect. Let's take it out of the mold. There we go. And now let's clone it. Hop, hop. Done. Time to make the characters for the game. Ugh. I found a lot of things! There's thread, fabric pieces, craft foam, and lots of glitter! <sighs> Good job! Thank you, but I just need this. Uh, what do I do with the rest? Well, you can make a new costume. Why don't you try the looks of all the different birds? Right, I've studied this game a lot. I've watched the movie and completed a lot of levels. I'm on it! And I'm going to make the first bird. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this game. Be careful with the needle. By the way, I like the Angry Birds movie so much. Especially the way it shows that the things you consider your weaknesses can actually appear to be your cool trademarks. While the game is a true beast of the games. Check out these stats. In just two years since the release, the game was downloaded more than 500 million times. And in six years of existence, it was downloaded three billion times. I guess after that, the developers lost count. As of today, the number of people who've ever played Angry Birds is unknown, but I bet the number is incredible. Now let's decorate our bird. We'll need grim brows, eyes, and a beak. Ta -da, da -da -da, bird fashion show. Take a break, Susie, and watch me. Wow, Sammy. Um, let me guess. It's Chuck, am I right? Absolutely right, the yellow bird Chuck. What do you say about my stunning look? Oh, how do you like my birdie? Angry Red, ready for the launch. Wow, we both did a great job, Susie Butta. I've got another cool costume. <laughs> and I should make the new characters, bad piggies. Let's start with the biggest one. Our piggies will be fluffy and bright, too. By the way, the animators of the Angry Birds movie did a great job when they created the 3D characters. Can you imagine that? For example, the birds have wings resembling human hands. They also worked on the facial expressions of the characters and their tiniest details in their looks. We're trying to work on the details, too, but in our craft style. <laughs> In the end, the picture quality of the Angry Birds movie surpassed the games. Shall we use some magic? Ta-da! I hope our craft will exceed your expectations. We're trying our best. Give a thumbs up to support us. Guess my name now, Suki. Huh. <gasps> That's the bomb's costume. Awesome, Sammy. But we still have a lot to do. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, Sue, I actually made something along with the costumes. Uh, here. Wow, and I made the piggies. That means only one thing. Time to launch the birds. And also one slime. You promised. <laughs> I'll keep my promise. All right. Hey, where are you going? Let's prepare for the game. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away, bad piggies attacked birdies' homes! And the birds gathered to strike back. The best of the best, Slime Sam Bird led the resistance! Sue, set the first level. Roger that, Captain of the Resistance, but first, let's prepare the playing field. Whoa, it's time to get to work. The first level won't be that difficult. There's just three pigs and a structure that's rather easy to break. Then we'll make it more difficult. I'm using stone, wood, and ice cubes. I'll put three piggies of different sizes in between the blocks. Sam, load the slingshot! 
time ready for the battle. Let's avenge the piggies for our homes. Level one, here comes Red. Bullseye! The pigs are dumped from their places. Level two. So there's still three piggies, but the tower structure's more complicated. There. Guys, now we'll see if the birds can get through this level. Shoo, you make a great commentator. You can make the second shot. It's an honor to be a part of the bird resistance. Oh, not my best shot. <laughs> Shoo, take another missile. Keep it lower and to the left. <sighs> All right. Calculate the trajectory uh -huh. and fire. Yes! Sam, you're a great bird launch instructor. <laughs> you bet. I'm the resistance leader after all. The next shot's on me. Guys, please don't try this at home. The Rebel Sam is ready to perform a dangerous stunt! How was the flight, Sammy? Holy cannoli, it was incredible! I want to be a bird! First? Ugh. Let's complete all the game levels and then we'll figure out how to make that happen. Maybe I'll be able to fly very soon. Or maybe not. Bye bye Guys, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button and stay tuned. for an arty party, we're in the party pad! It's the perfect place for a party! So, let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! Hello, my friends! So, tell me, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! We're gonna have a party, and look who I've invited, the shakes and scrubs. <laughs> He's so excited, all the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you! Are you ready? It's great to see you, my friend. Now, what shall we make our party about today? Mm, you ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? Come on, Mini Makers, over you come, my friends. That's it now. Have a look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues, see if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. A ring. It's a ring. Shoe. A gold stiletto shoe. Money Golden coin. A crown. And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. Ooh, you are feeling very arty. <laughs> it's my golden watch. So, what's our party going to be about today? Gold! That's right. We're going to have a golden party today. Yeah! Wow, Scraps, what have you got there? <gasps> it's a great gold medal. Did you get that for winning the school sack race? Or should I say, the sock race? <laughs> yeah! So, my friends, we've got a first-class golden ticket to an arty party. And what should we use for our picture today? Foil, golden paint, shiny wrappers. Now, we're going to use lots of gold, but what other colours would look good shiny? Bronze, silver, 
Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. And in fact, that's just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and have priceless fun making a gloopy gold picture. But first, we'll need some things from... <laughs> That's right! <laughs> we'll need some card and some gold paint. <laughs> some shiny wrappers and sequins. <laughs> some glittery dealy boppers. Nice try, Doodle Tube, but all that glitters is not gold. And we'll also need some buttons and some plastic jewels. Now, Mini Makers, the good news is this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. And now we need to bring in some background paper or card. I think this will look very nice. This is a golden party, so I think we need some nice shiny gold paint next. I've got some here, and I'm going to use this to make a wiggly, squiggly pattern all over the black card. Here we go. Make it as wiggly and as squiggly as you like. And it's a good idea to do this on some old newspaper or a tray. There you go. Do you like it so far? Yeah! Good, my friends, because now we're going to decorate it with lots of shiny, arty things. We've got some lovely, shiny foil wrappers. We've also got lots and lots of shiny things. Let's start off with some colourful wrappers first. One piece of gold there. And because the paint is wet, the shiny wrappers stick down without needing any glue. Let's do some more. I'm going to put lots of foil on. There we go. I think we've got enough foil. Now we need some plastic jewels. Which one do you think, Ross? I think this one. All right, then. Let's stick it down. <laughs> there we go. And another one, please, Ross. Thank you. And last but not least... Lovely. Very nice indeed. I think we could use some nice bright buttons now. And last but not least, let's add some gold sequins to our gold picture. That's it. We can put them on, make them really shiny. There we go, my friends. What do you think of our picture? Do you like it? Yeah! Well, I'm glad that you like it, because now you're going to make your own arty party picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Arty apron! Time to start the art! <laughs> Sophia has started a great golden picture and you've got some nice, interesting pink shapes. So what's that one there? This here is a pink triangle. Very nice indeed. Sophia, it's a great start. You keep making, because I wonder, has anyone else had any golden arty ideas? Let's find out. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, art and craft shops had not been invented. This meant that artists had to make all of their own brushes, gloopy glue and even paint. But there was one colour that no one could create, and that was the colour gold. Oh, I am so bored of painting everything grey. <laughs> then one day, someone came up with a brilliant idea. I've just had a brilliant idea. That's just what I said. Yeah, all right. He hammered a piece of gold into a thin sheet over many hours. It was so thin, the slightest breeze could have blown it away. This thin gold would soon become known as gold leaf. To make it stay in place, a layer of special clay was painted on first. The gold leaf was then stuck on top 
to make a fantastic golden effect. It's as good as gold. And people still use gold leaf for special pictures and furniture today. So that's where gold leaf comes from. I always thought it fell off gold trees in autumn. <laughs> now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. Wow, Ross, lots of lovely colours in your picture. What's your favourite colour? Green. Green, and I can see that you've put lots of green foil in here and lots and lots of gold sequins. How many do you think you've put in? About over 100. Over 100? Well, we better count them. Right, let's start. Ready? One, two... <laughs> Millie, I love your picture so far. It's very sparkly and very shiny. What different materials have you used? I've used some stars because it's beautiful and really shiny. These are wrappers from Cupcake. Wrappers from cupcakes. What a great idea. <laughs> Vinny has made a golden face. What have you used to make your face, Vinny? I used um, a gem for the eyes. Yeah. And foil for the eyelash. And foil for the hat as well. Also a foil beard. A foil beard. Very good indeed, Vinny. Keep working, my friend. I can hear snoring. It sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, Mini Makers? The Shapes! That's right, it's The Shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air, triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square, draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody, bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. I am a square! What's hiding behind the squares? Can you guess? That's right. It's a golden trophy. Well done, Square. It's time to get back on the shelf. 